Satnam. There's a technical part of doing all these meditations, and there's an art part of doing these meditations. And it doesn't matter which meditation you've done or haven't done, which ones you've tried. There needs to be a technical component. You need to know what the process of it, A to B to C to D and so forth and so on. So there's a technical part of any of these meditations that I've shared. But there's also an art to these meditations. Think of it like this. If, if you want to learn how to waltz, there are technical steps that you need to do, right? This foot, that foot. I don't know what they are, by the way, but this foot, that foot, you know, and, and, you, know, and you can move across the floor. Now, you can see people who are first learning to do it, that it looks a little bit awkward. And then you can see people who are skillful at it, that it looks like, you know, they're, they're moving fluidly. And then you see people who do it that is just... It's just poetry in motion. You can just see some people just can feel it. You feel it come through them and they're just naturally extending that feeling through the dance floor, through their body. And it's, it's beautiful to watch, right? A lot of the performers that we watch, whether they be dancers or singers or whatnot, they're allowing that to come through them. And that's what these meditations are also trying to get you to understand is it not just the hey, left foot, right foot, this breath, that breath, this mantra, that mantra, that is not as important as starting to pay attention to how it feels within you. So if you're doing a breath meditation, pay attention to the breath coming in, pay attention to the breath coming out. If you're holding a breath, whether you're holding the breath in or they're holding the breath out, what does it feel like? Start to pay attention to what's going on inside of you. Pay attention to how the breath feels. Similarly, if you've done some of the mantra meditations on this website, this page, this channel, whatever you want to call it, pay attention to what you're listening to. If you're reciting a word, a phrase, a vibration, listen to it. That's the most important thing you can do. And the second most important thing you can do is pay attention to where that reverberation is in your body. So it could be something as simple as ah. Uh, that should be felt down through here. So pay attention. Pay attention to where the reverberation is as you're reciting mantra. You'll start to understand the art part of it. So again, learning the technical aspects of meditating is important. And it is. You need to know what to do, how to sit, how to this, how to that. That's all important. But the actual experiences of the meditations, again, whether that's a breath-based meditation through pranayam, or whether that is a mantra recitation, vibratory, it doesn't matter which it is, but start to pay attention to how it feels for you. All of the nuances, so that when you're waltzing across the floor, you feel that energy come through you and it'll just be a natural, graceful experience. And that is what I wish for you. So scroll back down. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. You'll see all the videos. Pick one. Doesn't matter which one it is. Pay attention to how it makes you feel and see if that meditation is slightly different for you now that you're paying attention to how it's making you feel. Learn the art of meditating, not just the science behind it, but learn the art, feel it, become it, and live it. As always, I wish you well. Satnam.